Hello, my name is Louisboy and welcome to today's videos. And well, by the title, you already know that I'll be transforming Jerocraft's starter house. No, not starter house, his first house actually. And well, if you don't know who Jerocraft is, what you're doing on this video, go watch him. He is way better than me. <laughs> yeah, he is. And he is someone that was a big inspiration for me to start building in Minecraft. And he still manages to amaze me every single time he uploads a new video with his incredible builds and incredible videos as well and well his builds are also very inspirational and very detailed and each time I see them I want to do something similar but then I remember that I don't have so much dedication as he has so I just go cry in a corner so nonetheless I would consider myself an intermediate builder so this should be a really fun thing to do which is transforming his first Minecraft house which really got me excited the first time I heard he's gonna give out his world download for it so let's see what do we have here and what do we have to work with so now this has been built in what one point i don't know i don't know what what point what release of minecraft was there in 213 but considering that it was built in 213 this looks pretty nice actually and yeah i can see that the blocky windows are not yeah they're, they're sore in the eye <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this actually looks really nice. I really like the shape of it and every single shapes that were used in it. And well, I can see one more thing. Jerocraft, you were literally lazy use, using using slabs to create a block. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this is, this is from my good friend Aranzo's pack. And he included some double slabs blocks, double slab blocks. Yeah, double slab blocks that look a little bit different from the original full block. And well, by this I can see each time where the aircraft was lazy with his block placement. <laughs> to some extent, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Of course, this is just uh, that I can see it and I usually don't focus on using those blocks. So I usually just build with vanilla-ish. Vanilla-ish? vanilla English with... I keep to the vanilla look of the game, yeah, that's the better word to say. And what's this? Why is, why is this chimney so big? Okay, I expect a really big uh, fireplace over here. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what? Uh, what is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Why is there a, such a big <laughs> base for this? <laughs> Okay, okay, I need to stop laughing. It's like It's a really old build of course there is gonna be some Relatively stupid things, but I really want to do this so those are walls and there is a block in between so if I break that Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it fills it in. Can, can I do that for the, every single thing? No, uh, I, there is no block in between so I need to update this Ah, yes, uh, there is a netherrack because there is some fire here. We can place a campfire. I'm transforming his build without doing anything in front of in front of it instead of it. I'm just fixing it up actually and Yeah, that looks really That looks way better than the original. Okay, can I do that on all of on all of the things? There's a block in between here. Yeah, can I do it on this? Ah, uh, sadly now there is a block on each of those sides. Uh, I don't want to go to punching those out, but that looks way better. That actually looks really nice with new walls connecting with the blocks and in between. So that's really nice. Some other things. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not here to goof around and criticize the build. I'm here to transform it. So uh, I can extract a block palette from this. I think, yeah, actually, uh, I think, yeah, I can extract a block palette. And, well, the block palette is really simple. There is only four blocks he used. And I'm really not sure about the jungle wood used in this build. Jungle wood is really strange color, I would say. And I, I can get what he wanted to do with it. But it doesn't fit very much with the oak at least for me that's how i see it now i did saw some others like tries that he did over there and something over there as well there is why is there is furnaces in that okay that's really interesting as well so that was he was using cut, cut sandstone sandstone 
Uh, so, cut sandstone as well. I would put that in as well. So, something like this was used. Also, I would like to extract the shapes he used over here. Yeah, as you can see, I like to overanalyze the build. So, we are gonna do that as well. Okay, so the shapes that were used are relatively simple. That's expected from a very good builder, I would say, and from an old build as well. So, here are all the shapes, and yeah, they look a little bit underwhelming, looking at how big this build actually is. And, well, actually, it's just him using a 5x7 box most of the time. Sometimes he uses the general 5x5 blocks. 5x5 blocks box. Mm, that, try, try saying that out loud uh, too many times and well it's just using those two together to make this shape work and I can hear some bats that are throwing me off are you inside yes you are inside can I can I get in hello you having a great time in here yeah it's really dark for you so having a great time in here now one more thing that he uses is that little shape over there it's like a little bit of a thing that's sticking out a little bit and it's the only shape that's different from all the other shapes that he used and it's really infuriating infuriating english i don't know how, i don't know how to pronounce that word but i hate that it has two block center so that needs to be fixed but it's generally fine because it's embedded in the roof and it's not seen that very well that well yeah that well i would say and some other things is the roof. Now I just created this little thing to symbolize my roof. I didn't want to create an entire roof. So it's a really long roof with a very simple shape. And the only thing that I did notice is that the roof just extends to some parts of the build that the original roof or the source roof, source roof, that's a new right for the building <laughs> didn't manage to cover so that's thing that needs to be fixed because this can be a really interesting part as well of the build and we don't need this extension and this big old slope so now the only thing left to do is a block palette of course the style i think that i'll be trying to sticking back sticking back i'll try to stick to this medieval theme and maybe occasionally I will include some steampunky stuff because steampunk is the style I like to build in. So I really like the tower. So there is something that I can do with the tower as well. And I can add some more things, especially if I leave this big old furnace over here. So I can make something work with this. So block palette. Hmm, I don't want to work only for, with four blocks. So I will need to think about something as what I will use. I, I do want to use even more than six blocks, so possibly eight blocks. That that may be too much. Uh, I need to think about it. So give me a moment. Okay, so I have a block palette and ignore all the blocks I spread over here. This is the block palette and I've decided to completely go for the steampunk look because, well, that's, I would say, the safe path for me, <laughs> some way. And, well, I really wanted to use some new blocks, especially the blackstone, but I think that I may need to stick to the uh, dark prismarine for the roof. So, yeah, warped. Uh, you're gonna be replaced with that. But I now don't like the fact that it's not balanced, so... Stone? Yeah, I will need to work out which of those two I want. Uh, stone or black stone, and well... Uh, you know what? You know what? This is going to be half fantasy, half steampunk. So we're gonna be using some warped uh, wood or planks for the roof. And well, this is the block palette I have to work with. So, I really expect this to go really wild. Uh, I will go wild with this, so... Mm. Let's see Let's see where it goes. So, I'll start this time-lapse here, and I'll see you at the end for a little bit of a tour of what I did. Or a showcase, actually. It's better to say showcase of what I did, right? Yeah, right. L l let's just start the, the time-lapse. Thank you. 
So I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse and in the time lapse you saw that I didn't stick to the original block palette that I chose that I will be using. I did stick to some blocks but I've missed and matched some other blocks as I saw some other blocks fit a little bit better in the build. So yeah I've used different block palettes in the certain places I would say but it still looks really nice now I've also made a big old mess of the build as I've decided to build on top of the original build instead of pasting it on the side and then building the thing and then transforming the pasted build instead of building it over the original one and because of that I've made a big mess because I've cut moved things around destroyed things around and so on but in the end i'm really happy with the result and here it is here is the finished build fully detailed and completed now i really like how it turned out as i said already and as you can see i've kept the i would say original shape of it intact almost intact not not entirely intact but i've kept the original shape and the original idea so we have a big old chimney over here that I've created in some kind of a steampunk machinery chimney that's maybe powering the entire build with the steam power. We have also have this big old tower over here that I just transformed and maybe detailed a little bit more and also I've just fixed up this little main, little main, this big main house part and I've also created this sloppy part so that it's not as you know uh, straight yeah straight and just stairs and I've also kept this little thing that's popping out by a block now I've also created this little like greenhouse I would say on the side and well originally there was like a little bit of a farm over here 
or a little bit of a garden and I didn't know what to do with it originally so I was really like avoiding it <laughs> as I was building around it but in the end I came to idea of building this greenhouse and I really like how this greenhouse turned out it's really nice I really love it and it's really also really nice on the inside now everything else that I did there is one more part that I was talking about that this could be a nice inclusion so originally there was like a big slope over here that just connected to the source roof I'm gonna continue using that word from now on <laughs> and it didn't look so nice with the window that was here so I decided to create something like this like a little separate house that's popping out from the original house I really like the the look and the feel of that so we have that over here and in the back side back side on the back I have this little like balcony that I included because there is nothing special it's almost the same as the front without the door and without this middle part of the door so that's really nice now everything around this is not very well detailed because I was mainly focusing on the interior so I didn't want to sp spend too much time detailing the outside so for the trees I've asked my good friend Lon Lon to give me some of his trees so that I can place them around and he is really good at organics so if you want to check him out there is a link to his Instagram and to his YouTube in the description below and in the pinned comment below and I really like his trees I would like spend an hour or maybe a two hours building them and he just does it like spawns it instantly there is instantly a tree where he stands a tree boy and well um, I wanted to show an inside but I think that that will take too long so I will just go over the main things so if you go inside the first thing you will notice immediately is this so originally I wanted to use custom heads to detail the things inside this house as this is the steampunk so maybe there will be some kind of an indicators or maybe some other mechanical things around the house especially because I included a lot of pipes as you can see this is a pipe on the entrance and well I tried to do it but as you can see if the head is not four pixels out of the block it's going to go dark and then you're not gonna be able to see this at all so I'm really sad that I wasn't able to pull that off so yeah yeah we have this weird thing uh, it's okay maybe, maybe in the future they will make it so that I can put this inside this block and it's just sticking a little bit and it looks a little bit better now all around this house I did all of the interior and I have also included this little like details with armor stands so this is from the vanilla twigs and I'm using the armor stands data pack to create those little details with the items I've also included some details with the custom heads. As you can see, we have some kind of a clock over here. Maybe we have some kind of a machinery right here, some more clocks and so on. We also will be having some more books and some other things that you will be seeing. But in general, I've just tried to transform it and keep to the original build that was. So there was like a little relaxing area with a campfire over here. I changed it for this little indicator thing that's maybe a heater that's being powered by the mechanism over here and this is like a little work station with the interface where you can monitor everything maybe adjust it a little bit differently and so on and there is some more other things around here also in this area I've left this to be a kitchen as originally I think it was a kitchen over here and we're just gonna take a look at this greenhouse because there is a lot going on over here I really like this pipe that I included here as it serves like a little bit of a thing that's watering the plants over here and I can see that I've missed a trap door so a trap door needs to be there and well I really like it I really like it and I'm really in love with this build especially so originally there was also a staircase over here and I included the staircase as well as I've just transformed it to be a circular staircase around this column yeah it's a column and then you go to the first floor now I really like this entrance to the balcony as it's made out completely of the glass and I needed to play with the world edit so the glass doesn't connect to this composter but I really love it and there's a lot of rooms around here that has that have a lot of details put in place like some pipes going all around the room maybe some sink pickles that actually look uh, like 
candles yeah I like candles and that's our texture from Aran's texture pack that I really like and also there is a lot more things now I really like and I love this area so this is a hole with big windows at the end and I really love it it's really atmospheric I love that it has pipes around it has a lot of details and it has big old windows now there is a lot of different rooms around there is a room over here there is like a toilet over here with a bath some metallic mat over here some more things right there and also this staircase leaves directly leaves leads directly up to the tower now I couldn't fit everything in so that it's just staircase so I made this ladders ladders and this leads to this balcony on the side that's popping out from the roof I really like it as well so I wanted to include it it's a really nice idea and a really nice detail in the house and well this just leads to a little bit of a workshop I would say that I went a little bit easier on the details as you can see there is almost no armor stands being used just custom heads being placed around because I was really starting to get burned out on the detailing right at this point so if you go up here this is the only place that is let's say fantasy like because you get to this tower and you can look around this tower it has a really nice view but if you go up one floor you get to the enchanting area that is very really magical we have some books around a lot of bookshelves and a lot of other things and i think that this does enchant with the level 30 enchantment right yeah it does i made sure that it does i'm really proud of myself for that <laughs> and i really love this i also included some soul lanterns to give it a little bit more atmosphere and that is basically it so i hope you enjoyed this transformation the time lapse and i hope you really like it as much as i did and well if you want to explore this by yourself i'll be including a world download in the comments down below so it's going to be a pinned comment down below and in the description as well so you can load the world up and maybe explore it a little bit maybe blow it up if you want to that's also fine <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I really had fun with this I spent a lot of time and I'm really proud actually of the result and well this was my transformation now I have a lot of other plans to do some other steampunk stuff as well but it will take me some time to do that because well YouTube is not my full-time job of course and well I'm doing this on the side so if you want to see those subscribe and well i'll see you in the next video have a nice rest of your day